this is um top 10 youtubers that we are body shamed on social media mm, body shamed body shame is not good <laughs> it's not good for real it's embarrassing but that's what it is let's check it out and see what's going on you know if you're new to this channel bro you subscribe you know how it is all right guys we know for that do let go, let go. Being on camera every single day means that people are gonna see what you look like. Your audience is gonna see you on your bad hair days and the days when you forget to zip up your fly. I'm sure I've had one of those in my day. Oh yeah, and also the days when you accidentally drool on yourself. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> you can like slow it down and it's like a vroom. Yeah, yeah. And being a YouTuber that is constantly broadcasting what they look like to other people, you're gonna get some comments and sometimes nasty comments about your body, unfortunately. Right now, we are counting down the top 10 YouTubers who were body shamed on social media here for you on IO. Mm. What's gravy? You're watching Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte. Oh, that's hey, a lot. Mackenzie. That's a lot, bro. Have you ever been body shamed, that's Mackenzie? Uh, I haven't been body shamed yet, but I've been outfit shamed. A oh, bit. damn, already? But those are the days when I like really was not trying, so I'm not, like I was like, okay, like I get it, you know? They they outfit shamed you? <laughs> oh my God. Just watch your video. Not like everyone, just like a few people, and then some of you guys were really nice in the comments being like, don't comment on her outfit, but not the body yet. <laughs> yet. Yet. <laughs> if I gain even like five pounds, they're like, oh, Charlotte's getting a little tubby. Yeah. Yeah. Little tubby there. It's like, damn it, you guys. Like shit, I can't even like, like like relax dude yes i ate that tootsie pop <laughs> but like damn straight yeah even this shirt i'm like am i is it too much stomach there's also someone that keeps commenting that i don't have a belly button like i'm not gonna show you but i have it but i just cover it they with high-waisted things they do that to me too yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah all right so by the way this is io on this channel we do the news we tell you about trending topics we do top 10 lists that maybe you guys might enjoy so if you're new here just like subscribe, subscribe. and we can like hang out yeah. you know? starting off with number 10 we have gabby hannah gabby hannah is a youtuber that has dealt with body shamers her whole career ever since she blew up on vine and then moved to youtube people constantly commented on her weight one of the first times she ever addressed it publicly was when she made a response video to the viral video dear fat people that i'm sure you've seen in the video she talks about how that video is wrong and isn't helping anyone but instead is hurting people and pushing nicole arbor's bad logic onto impressionable young viewers she even spoke about her journey with self-love saying she hated her body most of high school and dealt with body dysmorphia and then since she's made tons of videos about her struggling to lose weight and addressing health concerns that have made it hard for her to lose weight in the past now she's but made she's videos about her journey fat. with facial modifications since she constantly sees negative comments talking about her appearance in specifics her nose in a recent video she shows how she was considering getting chin liposuction but throughout the video she's unsure as to whether she's really getting it because she wants to or because she feels pressured by the internet in the end she doesn't end up getting it and ends up having a breakdown about how her eating disorder and body dysmorphia are still affecting her to this day as seen in that video all right at number nine on our list we have mr michael mccrudden if you're not an io veteran here's some interesting info michael mccrudden used to be one of the main hosts on io he left to start before they were famous but we filmed in the same studio for a couple of years before he went and opened a studio of his own as someone who worked closely with michael for a couple of years i can confirm michael got body shamed pretty badly a lot he also confirmed this in this tweet I've been getting fat shamed a lot for the past year I feel like Rihanna Michael explains in a video on his second channel that back when he was on IO trends the channel was hit really hard by demonetization thousands of videos that the team had wow. made were suddenly not making money anymore so Michael was basically living at the studio filming non-stop I totally remember that it, it was like a really <laughs> really difficult time there was a lot of scrambling a lot of cuts it wasn't fun. So I won't tell you where the studio is, but there's literally no restaurants around here that would allow you to really eat healthy unless you eat the same salad every single day. So Michael was eating really unhealthy. Oh. He was stressed out because he was working so hard and he Brand started gaining weight. But of course the YouTube audience doesn't ever sometimes. know what's happening behind the I scenes. You're just a talking head with no emotions. <laughs> Unfortunately, instead of being empathic, they judge. Next up at number eight, Meredith Foster. So this one's a bit different, where Meredith was hated for being too skinny and with commenters constantly talking about her body, making her develop an eating disorder. In 2017, she started a new diet and fitness routine that led many to think she might have anorexia. Later that year, she took to YouTube to deny that she had any sort of eating disorder. It even got so bad, her group of friends, known as the Savage Squad, consisting of Ava Gatowski, Tila Dunn, and Sierra Furtado, 
distance from her. They claim because Meredith was pushing them away. But much later in 2019, she decided to come clean about her struggles, making an Instagram post comparing her body then versus now, and saying that finding God was a huge step in her recovery. She later made a YouTube video about her eating disorder, where she completely opened up to her followers. She stated that she struggled with body dysmorphia and she was mentally very weak during this time. She also implied that social media was a huge part in it, writing that her followers should never compare themselves to what they see online, and they should know they are you know, enough. The most important thing, you know, online, all these, all these keyboard lions, people, you know, writing shit with a keyboard, with mobile phone, you know, commenting all these bullshit. It's not good, you know. You can sometimes affects you know some people just the way that they are it's not good. at number seven on our list we have Jacqueline Hill Jacqueline has had a rough year and yeah a lot of that's her own fault but Jacqueline is human and like the rest of us humans when life isn't going the way that we want it to we tend to do things that are bad for our bodies be it overeating alcohol drugs staying home and lounging on the couch night after night we've all been there dude but most of us have the luxury of not being in the public eye all the damn time so when Jacqueline started to gain weight, she got body shamed pretty badly. I mean, people already didn't like her and then she had gained a bunch of weight and it's like, you know, just a lot of like vultures. Just, you're not perfect. <laughs> she did, however, clap back at the body shaming. In a tweet where someone asked, what happened to your face? I love that, I love that. <laughs> what happened to your face? Jacqueline responded with, I gained weight. Can you guys please stop body shaming? I don't even want to log on to social media recently because all I see is comments about looking fat and accusing me of getting fillers. Dear God, thank the Lord I have a good support system and self-confidence. Jacqueline later admitted that her apparent weight gain was over an addiction to alcohol, which she was using to cope with her anxiety. Next up at number six, Gabby DiMartino. So Gabby, best known for her collab channel with her twin sister Nikki, is a YouTuber that not only has to deal with body shamers, but oftentimes just deals with a lot of shame in general. The majority of it is surrounding her facial modifications that people suspect she got in order to look like her idol, Ariana Grande. But Gabby has shut this down on multiple occasions. One notable time was when she did a video on her sister Nikki's channel where she revealed all the work she had done, admitting to lip filler, fake tan, and veneers for teeth. And in other videos, she's also admitted to getting a nose job. In that video, she shuts down all the accusations that it's all to look like Ari. Although it can be argued that she looks a lot more like Ari now than she- Bro, but people should start minding their own business, bro. This is none of their business. I don't know why, bro. This is annoying. She did before. It's annoying, she has bro. also dealt with a lot of people Come shaming on. her for her body, often calling her too skinny it's, or anorexic. It's really annoying. She actually got into a Twitter fight with her sister over some photos that were posted that were not approved by Gabby as they weren't edited. This left many accusing her of heavily face tuning her body in photos. This then prompted her to make an entire fancy vlog in a swimsuit to prove to people that she doesn't face tune, even telling them to zoom in if they want to see it up close. And something tells me this unfortunately won't be the last time she's to deal with all this hate either. At number five, Trisha Paytas. As entertaining as oh, H3H3's oh Instagram God. versus reality video was, did anyone else feel like it was like kind of mean? Like on the one hand, oh, Ethan Trisha. was telling people to just. Oh my God, Trisha. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Okay, okay. Be themselves, but then he was also like being really mean to Trisha Paytas for what she really looks like. Personally, I feel like Trisha is one of the more real like influencers or professional internet trolls out there when it comes to her looks. Yeah, she gets glammed up for photo shoots and she probably edits those photos as well, but she's also always posting videos that show her crying on her kitchen floor with clumpy eyelash extensions and no makeup and a messy bun. She shows both sides of herself and she doesn't hide behind an Instagram persona, oh. which is more than I can wow. say for a lot of people. I feel like for all the things <laughs> Trisha needs to work on, I don't feel like the shaming over what she actually looks like is justified. I actually respect her for being willing to show that side of herself on a regular basis like is she ever not crying on the bathroom floor with her makeup running and looking really really intense like she does that all the time so side note about all that she's now like besties with Ethan from H3H3 and like she goes on the podcast all the time so there's a funny twist there but yeah it's weird that roasting turned to friendship <laughs> 
Next up at number four, Remy Ashton. So Remy is a YouTuber that's been around since the DIY and saturation days on YouTube. And when she started her channel, she was noticeably heavier than she is now. Remy has opened up about her weight loss on many occasions, but in a video with Nikki Dimar, she stated that she had been wanting to lose weight for years while on YouTube. But when she started to lose weight, she would actually get hate from her fans that were mad at her for not embracing her curves. And she would get this along with all the other hate about her weight in general. So she felt like she was in a complete lose-lose situation and That's she well, definitely yeah. seemed to be. But she decided to disregard all the hate and make some changes in her life that have resulted in a ton of weight loss. But after doing a social experiment where she compared some of her content back when she was a little thicker to now that she had lost weight, she came up with some disturbing conclusions. Basically in this video she copied a photo Alyssa Violet took. In Alyssa's comments on the picture there were tons of people complimenting her and hyping her up. While in Remy's comments she was getting tons of hate and even being called an adult film star. Even though the picture isn't even close to as racy as some of the other pictures that I see on Instagram on the daily. She also called out people for the double standards with her dancing, saying it was cute and quirky before the weight loss, but now people are calling it slutty ever since she lost weight. And of course, most of the nasty comments are from women, which is just even more heartbreaking. Why you gotta be so nasty? At number three on our list, we have Mr. Shane Dawson. Bro, In a recent video posted to Shane Dawson. You don't have to listen to haters. Haters always hating, no matter what you do. They're gonna hate. So don't don't even read the comments. Don't even look at the comments, bro. That's the best thing. On the second channel, Shane Glosson called addressing my weight gain. Shane shared this. Man, hey Shane, why don't you post time. more? Why don't you upload more? Well, this. You would think after 13 years on YouTube, comments wouldn't get me, but damn, they still feel like the very first time. Ooh. The screenshot of a comment was this. I love Shane, but it's a damn shame to watch him putting all this weight back on while everyone around him laughs and enables it. Shane also said in this video that he was having a bad day and he just let this one comment affect him. Honestly, this happens a lot more than you think. People think that because you're a YouTuber, you got this big following, you're not gonna read the comment and be affected by it. It, but we are affected by it. Sometimes you just can't help but look at that comment section. And if you're having a bad day, it doesn't matter how many nice comments you get, people will focus on the negative ones. Even someone that's as loved as Shane Dawson Daddy gets hate comments about his weight. Next up at number two, Christine Sedelko. Christine, who was a Viner turned YouTuber and best known for her Christine vlog channel Sedelko. with Elijah Daniels, know, has unfortunately. I don't know how. I haven't had that name before. She's dealt with it. a lot of fat shaming on the internet. She's whoa, even whoa. spoke about it multiple times and even made a YouTube video ranting about the subject. In the video, she rants about how fat shaming is ridiculous because you're making fun of someone for something that doesn't affect you whatsoever, which is so damn true, by the way. She also made a point to clap back at people that say that fat shaming can help people and people just want to encourage better eating habits by giving examples that she's seen where skinny people are able to joke about eating like a whole box of Oreos and no one cares. Well, if she were to make that same comment, she would get destroyed online for harming her body. Which is so true. I've seen this so many times with skinny girls being like, oh my god, just finished a whole thing of Oreos and like, everyone laughs about it, no one cares, right? She finished off the video by directly speaking to the people that hate on her for her weight. Basically letting them know that she does not care at all what people say about her. And that the comments aren't making her want to change her body in any way. I wanted to also note that as of now, she's ended her time on social media. And a lot of fans speculate that she just couldn't deal with the anxiety that comes with being a social media star. Wow. Some even thinking it could have been because of all the body shaming that she received. Alright, and to wrap up our list at number one, we have Eugenia Cooney. No one knows the effects of being body shamed on social media more than Eugenia. Eugenia Cooney. I remember Eugenia Cooney. Cooney. Who could forget how Onision basically created a targeted body shaming campaign against Eugenia that he said was to save her life. But I mean, he made so many videos about her. After about the third video made on a topic, you're only doing it because of the money. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, three videos, you're doing it for the money. Tens of thousands of people signed a petition to remove Eugenia. YouTube videos. There's something they're not telling you the truth about YouTubers. Who is making video? Not for money. We are YouTubers, we are making videos for money, bro. This is all about money. Who said it's not because of money? That's bullshit. You say shit. All YouTubers are making videos because of money. Because they're spending money to make it. They want to get something from it. So, we all making videos for money, bro. Shut the fuck up. If you said you are not making money.
for videos, you know, making videos, to, you know, to make money or something like that. That's, that's trash talk. Eugenia Cooney from YouTube because Eugenia was showing her body in videos and pictures and they said that it wasn't helping girls with eating disorders. People argued that she was advocating for anorexia but at this point no one even really knew if Eugenia had an eating disorder or not and she never condoned or mentioned having the disease. She never uh, like approved of it. She didn't like make videos that was like, hey guys, you should be anorexic today. She didn't do that. She just like did some clothing hauls and like some cosplay and that's it. Yes, Eugenia Cooney was very skinny, and I'm not saying that she might not have had a disorder, but assuming that it's due to an eating disorder when you don't know if it is and telling her she should cover up is just another type of body shaming. YouTube never took down her videos because they didn't violate YouTube's community guidelines, and it would have actually been discriminatory to remove them based on how she looked. Okay, come here. Let's do some comments. Okay. Uh, this is top 10 YouTubers that we are body shamed on social media. That's body shame, bro. Live your life. Don't don't even listen to people what they're saying. If you're fat, if you're skinny, you're anorexic or something, bro. Let them deal with it. That's their own problem, bro. Do whatever you want. Live your life as you want. Don't li don't listen to what social media what they're saying, what they're writing. Because if you if you continue listening or reading what they're saying, you 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 you, you will go crazy, bro. You will, you will just go crazy. You'll be mentally sick. So forget about that. Just live your life. That's what it is. That's what I have to say about this, bro. I hope you all enjoy this. There's nothing else I can say about that. Fuck the haters, man. You don't have to give a fuck about the haters. Forget about haters. Because they don't like themselves, they don't have anything, they don't have life, they don't have anything to do, they're just trying to destroy other people's life. That's the only thing they got. But you know, you know, you're not gonna let them get you, bro. Forget it. Oh my goodness, haters. This social media shit.